hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you saw in the title today i'll be showing you how you can create a mood board in canva now a mood board is like a collage containing a variety of text and images as you see here which serves to define and communicate your brand identity it can also be used on a specific topic concept or material of your choosing so guys Let's get started with me showing you how you can create your own mood board using Canva. Okay guys, so here we are in Canva and to create your mood board, of course, what you do is to come into Canva and type in mood board in the search bar. No. Canva has a few designs that you can look at as a form of inspiration for what you'd want to have your mood board looking like. Or if you'd like to like basically, um, you know, edit any of these boards and use them, then you'd be also free to do so. Okay, so Canva has a variety of mood boards, guys, as you're seeing here that you can choose to work with or you can definitely create your own now before you would come here to create your mood board you want to definitely have your pictures images have an idea of the text that you'd want to have written have on your displayed on your mood board and have these items uploaded to canva especially the images and so on so once you've done that, then you would basically come here and choose a mood board, one of these designs to work with, or as I'm going to show you, you can choose one of these designs, but still create your own. So then it would be a matter of filling in your mood board with the different images that you have and, you know, finish creating your mood board. And after you're finished, you would just download it. So enough talking, let's get to creating. All right, so I'm just going to click on any one of these mood boards. I'm going to come here. Now, for the mood board that I'll be creating today, guys, uh, I'll be creating one that centers around living room decor. So, as you saw me there, I just clicked on one of the mood boards that are there, but I'm actually going to go ahead now and remove these different images that are on the mood board as well as the text because I want to put on my own. Now, if there had been a blank template available in mood board, then I would have just selected that, but I didn't see any, so that's why I chose to just do this. All right, so to remove these guys, you just need to click on them and go and click on the delete icon. And you can just click to delete group, so that gets rid of everything at once. And delete grid that gets rid of everything so quick and easy we're ready to start now to create your own mood board guys as i said you can always go back to what you were looking at before you know get a feel of what your mood board can look like and then you go back to creating now in here guys what's gonna help you out to create your own mood board is elements so you're gonna go to elements then in elements you're gonna go to grids all right, now in grades, uh, there are a variety of grades that you have here that you could choose to work with depending on how many images and so forth you want to have on your mood board. So you have that option. But I'm just going to work with this, um, this grid here and then minimize it and, you know, drag it to fit where I want it on the, on my on my page here all right so I'm gonna so as I said I'm doing some living room decor um, ideas so I think I'm gonna have two of these at the top so I'm just gonna click on it and duplicate so I get another one and I just drag it and fit it there no of course guys I'm doing this to ensure that I'll be able to put my different images on the page. All right, so after that, I am going to just do some more of it. So 
So again, I'm simply duplicating. All right, so now that I have my grids where I want them, in the middle here, I'm just gonna put some text. So this is gonna be So this is gonna be for me um, minimalist living room decor. This mood board for me is just gonna highlight some room decor ideas. Uh, minimalist living room decor that I like. Depending on what your brand is all about, guys, then you would just go ahead and ensure that your mood board is highlighting that um, brand identity of yours. All right, so I have minimalist living room decor. I'm just going to go and change my font. I'm going to play around here to see which font I actually want to use. All right, minimalist room decor. I... I think I should add on ideas to this. So right here, guys, I'm just arranging the text how I would like it to be. All right, so I have that. I'm not sure of the font color yet. I'm just going to move on to getting some images. Okay, guys, so I don't have any specific images uploaded. I'm just going to use the images that I can get here on Canva. So to do so, I just clicked on photos here and then I'm going to type in minimalist living room and see what comes up. So I'm going to do that. Also, let me maximize the screen, make it a bit larger. Yeah, all right, that's better. So we have some different living room images coming up here. So guys, if you already have your own images, you would just go ahead and, you know, just put them in to onto your um, page here, onto your mood board that you're making. But as I don't, I'm just gonna look here, find a few images that I like and put them there. All right, so I'm going from a more of a minimalist look. So let me see what I want to use. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this image here. All right, so that's the first image. This will be the next one. So it's just a matter of dragging on and dropping, guys. Once you have your images, you would just drag and drop. And remember, to get your images, you would just come here and click on Uploads and upload them. Um, I believe I saw one down here that I liked. But I don't think I want this red with this blue background there. Let me go down. Oh, I just saw one. Where is it? All right, these two colors are almost the same. So I think I'm going to take out one of them. I'll take out this one. I'll just delete the image and go back in and find another one i think i'm gonna just work with this <laughs> yeah let me click undo yeah so i think i'm just gonna work with this one right here i don't know the red is red and the blue is just throwing me off like it's messing with the vibe of what I want to have on my thing here. I'm going to change it again, guys. All right, so I'll work with this one. 
All right, so I have all my images, minimalist living room decor ideas. Guys, here you could also play around with, um, play around with changing the color of the background. The color it, for this white space here, you could change that color. And to do so, you just need to click on the board until, you know, all of these edges are highlighted, the four corners are highlighted in blue, as you see here, and then you just go to color and change the color. So I'm going to play around in color to see if there's any color that I would rather have than the white color. And tell me to guys, which color do you think I... Um, this is the first color. <laughs> so you can tell me like first, second, third, which one you think looked best. This is more of a brown look. Of course, that's back to white. All right, so I think I'm gonna just settle with this. But guys, you basically get the idea now, right? That you can definitely use grids and elements to create any, I mean, to create a different, um, what should I say now? Grids, there are grids as well for you to put your images in and you could create as many or put as many images on your mood board as you want you could decorate it anyhow you want so so yeah guys that's it don't forget to write the title of your mood board so i'll type in minimalist living room decor all right and there you will be ready and then guys you will just go ahead and and download it it's gonna download the suggested download option is pdf prints so you'd get it downloaded as a pdf but you can also choose to download it as a pdf standard the pdf print is a high quality multi-page document the standard one would be a small file size you could have it as a JPG or PNG file. You could also create a GIF with it, an animated GIF or animated video. So whilst we're at it, so say you had your mood board like this, right guys? But you also wanted to have it animated, then guess what? You can go ahead and animate your mood board. To do so, you would just need to go up here to animate and, you know, choose any one of the animated options animation options and animate your board so i'm gonna click on tumble and see what happens yeah i like that so as you see um let's play it and look at it so all right i'm waiting for that to finish then we we'll play so this is what it looks like if you choose to animate it or you could choose any one of the other different animation options that are there and by doing so, you will have an animated version of your mood board as well as the image version of your mood board, which you can use. So yes, guys, that's it. Um, let me know if you found this video useful. I, I, um, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section below, guys. So until my next video, bye.